Time for another day at school. And today's an extra special day because we have a substitute teacher filling in for our regular teacher, Miss Blue. And I heard the substitute teacher is a super smart scientist. I can't wait to meet him. Oh no, a substitute teacher? I just hope he doesn't check our science homework. I always forget my homework for some reason. Oh, I think I hear him coming now. Ooh. Oh, hi class. <laughs> my name is Dr. Science, and I'm gonna be your science teacher today. Lucky for you, I know everything about science. Come on, ask me a question and I'll tell you the answer. Oh, oh, I have a question. What is snow made out of? That's a great question, Ellie Sparkles. We only know it snows when it's really cold out, right? Yeah. And we also know that snow is made out of marshmallows. So when it snows, we can use our hot chocolate mug to catch all the marshmallows, like this. All done. Yummy! Huh? Snow is made out of marshmallows? Yeah, that's what I thought too. But Miss Blue marked it wrong on my test. I knew I was right. Wow, Dr. Science sure is smart. Okay, students, time to join Dr. Science in front of the class. Cool. So, what has Miss Blue been teaching you in science class? Oh, I remember. Miss Blue's been teaching us how to do our own science experiments. Ooh, science experiments? Easy peasy. I know everything about science experiments. Actually, I think I'll show you one now. Wow! Do you like birthday balloons? I love balloons. I just don't like when they pop on accident. Exactly. That's why I created a science experiment to have an unpoppable balloon. This balloon will pop no matter how hard you try. And I'll show you now. Cool. First, you have to put some magic science potion in it. Here we go, Jimmy. Ooh, perfect. Now we have to blow up the balloon. Ellie? All right, here we go. Now, for one last step, some Dr. Science lightning. All done. The most unpoppable balloon ever. Wow. Here you go, Jimmy. Try to pop it. See, it didn't pop. Now you, Ellie. I've never heard of an unpoppable balloon before. This balloon never taught us this. Let's give it a try. Dr. Science, I didn't think the balloon would pop. It seems like you got science potion all over you. Whoa, that's never happened before. But no need to worry. All you have to do is use some Dr. Science soap. Yep, this will clean everything right up. I'm just gonna pour some on this napkin. See, all clean, easy peasy. Dr. Science? Hey, down here, oh, down here. here. Oh my goodness, Dr. Science, it looks like you shrunk yourself. Wow, Dr. Science, you really are the smartest scientist ever. Whoops, Dr. Science used the wrong science potion again. Just the science error, no big deal, everybody. Get back to your desks, everything's A-OK. -okay. I got it all under control. Whoa, look at that ant over there. That ant is huge. <laughs> Okay, class, now that I showed you how to do a science experiment, and now that I'm big again, it's time for your big science quiz. Are you ready? Class has been a little different so far, but I am so ready for this quiz. Miss Blue's been teaching us all about animals, and I've been studying all night. I'm gonna show Dr. Science that I know a lot about science, too. Oh no, a quiz? I totally forgot about the quiz. I didn't study at all. I'm in super big trouble. Question number one. We all know that owls have really big eyes and they live high up in the trees, but what noise does an owl make? Oh, oh, I know, I know. A 
Okay, I went to a zoo with Miss Blue once, and the owl there went like this. Hoo, 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 hoo. Wait, I was wrong? Huh, I thought I knew about owls. Okay, it's my turn. Owls, owls. Do owls make the sound? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, 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 ah, ah, ooh, ooh. Woohoo! You got it right, Jimmy. Owls live high up in the trees, and at night they go. Now it's time for question number two. This question is about bunny rabbits. What food do bunny rabbits like to eat the most? Oh, I definitely know this one. I must have been confused about the owl question. But this answer is carrots. Rabbits love to eat carrots because they're orange, healthy, and super yummy. Am I right, Dr. Science? Wait a second, I was wrong again? Oh no! Okay, it's my turn. The Easter Bunny likes to eat bananas? Right again, Jimmy. Rabbits love to eat bananas. Look, I'm a rabbit eating a banana and dancing like an owl. <laughs> wow, Ellie, I never knew I was so smart at science. I got all the answers right in my quiz. Are you surprised? And I didn't even study. There's the lunch bell. Oh, I could definitely use some lunch. I always love coming to school, but today has been one of the hardest days of school ever. Dr. Science has been telling me that everything that Miss Blue taught me has been wrong. It's okay though, it's lunchtime now and I can really relax. I'm gonna eat my peanut butter and jelly sandwich, my favorite. Ellie, Ellie, I've been looking for you for so long. I need to show you the coolest thing ever. Since I am a really good scientist, Dr. Science taught me how to turn any food into pizza. Can I? Maybe try it on your sandwich? I don't know, Jimmy. Peanut butter and jelly is my favorite lunch ever. I like it even more than pizza. And plus, how do you know that his experiment is even gonna work? Of course his experiment is gonna work. Dr. Science is like the smartest person ever. So please. Okay, you've convinced me. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, all we have to do is pour a little bit of this onto the sandwich and we wait. All right. Oh, wow, it definitely changed. But wait, this isn't a pizza, this is a bug. Gross! Whoops, sorry, Ellie, that really wasn't supposed to happen. I don't, I don't know what it did. Okay, students, welcome back from lunch. Now that science class is over, I thought I'd teach you another class, music class. Now, do you know what this instrument is called? That's right, this is a violin. And I'm gonna play a song just for you. Dr. Science is so smart, E-I-E-I-O. With some science class here and some music class there, reading class, spelling class, everywhere a class, class. Dr. Science is so smart, E-I-E-I-O. Woohoo! I told you I'm a great singer. And now, another song just for you. Hello, class. I'm back. Sorry I'm late. Miss Blue, there you are. Welcome back. Oh, and you must be Dr. Science. I've heard you are the smartest and most sciencey science teacher ever. Thank you so much for being the substitute teacher. You're welcome, Miss Blue. And I have to say, Ellie and Jimmy are the nicest and smartest students ever. Especially that Jimmy. He is one good science student. I'm gonna teach him all my experiments. Hmm, speaking of experiments, I have to try that pizza experiment one more time. Hmm. Bye, Bye Dr. Science! You're the smartest teacher ever! Oh boy, I can't wait for one of my favorite days of school today. Teacher Appreciation Day. And I have a list of all the teachers I have to give a gift to. I wonder who's first on the list. Uh-oh, him already? Boys and girls, just wait until you meet this teacher. Hi, 
Hi, Mr. Pirate. It's me, Ellie Sparkles, and have I got a special surprise for you. This better be good, Ellie. You interrupted me gold counting. I was doing so good, I counted all the way up to three. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you say you have a surprise for me? Yeah. Here you go. Woohoo! A gold coin for Mr. Pirate! Wow! All I've ever wanted since I was a wee little pirate is a gold coin, and now I have another one for me, pirate treasure! Ha <laughs> ha! But there's still room for more! Ha <laughs> ha! Do you have any other gold coins for me? Oh, I do have so many gold coins left, but I saved them all for the rest of my teachers! So each teacher gets one gold coin each. <laughs> that reminds me, I better go see everybody else on my list. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Pirate. See you in math class. Arr, did you see that? Ellie has more gold coins for the other teachers. I have to find a way to get those gold coins before she gives it to the other teachers. Oh, quick, I need a pirate plan. Think, Mr. Pirate, think. Mm. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I got a great idea. Since I have so many teachers at school, I'm going to spin this giant teacher wheel to see who I'll visit next. <laughs> Are you ready? One, two, three. Giant spin. <gasps> it landed on Dr. Science. Nice. He's my science teacher, and he's always working on some really cool experiments. His science lab is over there. Let's go visit him. <laughs> oh, so Ellie Sparkles thinks she can share all me pirate gold with that silly Dr. Science? Oh, I can't let that happen. <laughs> all I have to do is put on a disguise, and Ellie Sparkles will think I'm the real science teacher. <laughs> There's got to be something here. Oh, quick. Oh. No. 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 Oh, this looks sciencey. <laughs> oh, it worked! It worked! I look exactly like that silly Dr. Science. <laughs> oh wait, let me use my pirate comb. <laughs> this will make me look even more silly. Mr. Science, are you in there? Oh no, Ellie's here already. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I need to act like a scientist. Um. It's about time, Ellie. I, I mean, uh, hello, Ellie Sparkles. I'm, uh, I'm doing all sorts of scientist stuff, just like a regular scientist would do, like uh, looking in my telescope. <laughs> Ooh, there's Jupiter. You're so silly, Dr. Science. That's not a telescope, that's a microscope. We're seeing really, really small things, not really big things that are far away like stars. You taught us this yesterday. Hmm. Is something the matter, Dr. Science? Are you really Dr. Science? Of course you are. Who else would have green spiky hair like that? <laughs> anyway, for Teacher Appreciation Day, I'm getting all my teachers fantastic gifts. And this is yours. <laughs> Gold coin! Oh, this is great! I could do all sorts of experiments with me gold coins. But uh, to do more experiments, I need more gold coins. Do you have more for me? Even though you're the smartest teacher I know, I only have one gold coin per teacher. Sorry, Dr. Science. <laughs> See you in science class later. Bye, Ellie. <laughs> oh, another gold coin for me, treasure. <laughs> I'm almost there. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Let's spin the teacher wheel one more time. Three, two, one, spin. <gasps> Amazing, it landed on Mrs. Blue. She's my reading teacher and she always tells me I'm the best student in reading class. Let's go visit Miss Blue. Ready or not, here I come. Arr, so Ellie's going to reading class next. Hmm, well, it's a good thing I always have me Miss Blue costume handy. She'll never know it's me. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
Which way is class? This way? Or that way? Uh, I don't know. This is why I never liked me pirate reading class. Hello? Miss Blue? Is anyone here? Well, I guess Miss Blue isn't here yet. I'll come back later with her surprise. Wait, hey, hey, wait up. I mean, uh, oh, it's me, Mrs. Blue. Uh, sorry I was late. I was in the library reading my favorite book. <laughs> it's so funny. Miss <laughs> Blue? Yes? You were reading your book upside down. That's so silly of you. Hmm, something is strange with you, Miss Blue. You look a little different. Yes! Oh, I know. You got new glasses. That's why. So, did you know that English is my favorite subject and I love to read? And because you're my favorite teacher, I got you a gift for Teacher Appreciation Day. A gold coin. Woohoo! This is the sweetest gift I've ever gotten. A++ plus plus for you, Ellie. I love pirate I mean, I love gold coins. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Miss Blue. I'll be back later for reading class with my homework, of course. See you soon. Bye, Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> Another gold coin. I almost have me pirate treasure back. <laughs> this is the best plan ever. Where's that book of mine? <laughs> Let's do this one more time. Three, two, one, spin. <laughs> it landed on Mr. Chef, my cooking class teacher. And perfect timing too, because I'm super hungry. I think I smell Mr. Chef cooking up something super special. <laughs> so Ellie's coming to cooking class next. I'm gonna cook me pirate pizza. Oh, <laughs> once she tastes me pirate pizza, I'm sure to get the rest of her treasure. <laughs> oh, cooking pirate pizza is so yummy, and I'm gonna steal all of Ellie's money. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Chef. Ooh. Oh my goodness, you made the whole school smell so delicious. You have to tell me what you're making today. Wait. Are you making pizza? Pizza's one of my favorite foods ever. You're gonna have to show me how to make it. Ooh, sure thing. Pirate pizza's my favorite. First thing to do, you have to cook the sauce. So first, you take these tomatoes and you put them in the pan. You need about 10. And then you stir it up like this. And then you flip it. Oh, uh, it, it's done. <laughs> oh, and then you have to cook the pizza dough. Here it is. Oh, wow. The pizza dough is really big, huh? First, it starts off like a ball. That's like a circle. But to turn it into flat pizza, you have to throw it in the air like a frisbee. Woohoo! 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 Oh! Mr. Chef, or should I say Mr. Pirate? Oh, oh no. no! Wait a second, were you tricking me the entire day? You were dressed up as my teachers all day, weren't you? Arr, you got me, Ellie Sparkles, but I was just trying to get all your pirate treasure for myself. <laughs> I guess you could have all the gold coins back. <laughs> Bad Mr. Pirate, sad Mr. Pirate. Well, it definitely wasn't nice what you did, but I know you love treasure so much, Mr. Pirate, so I got you another surprise. It's a pirate's treasure map, so you can look for your own treasure. Doesn't that sound fun? Yes! Oh, a pirate treasure map for me? Oh, I love it! After I find the treasure, I'll be the richest teacher in school. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Ellie Sparkles. You're welcome. Oh, I'm so happy I'm gonna do me pirate happy dance. <laughs> <laughs> <Wee>. <laughs> 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 oh, 